Alexa, good morning. Be grateful for this day. Hey Google, play CNN on Living Room TV. Hello, this is John Armwood on Senior Tech Tips. I'm coming to you today and I'm talking about 4K on the Canon M50. I'm using the 50 millimeter lens with the speed booster from Viltrox on it and I'm shooting it with the 4K and I'm going to be testing how the 4K is vlogging, or not vlogging, but doing a basic YouTube video with the camera on a tripod. I would not try to use this camera without a tripod on the bill or the um, in, in 4K. It just, you know, it wouldn't the focus. You can't move around very much because it uses a contrast-based focus, which is not the best. As you can see right here, the my head is huge. My head is huge. I'm gonna try to sit back a little bit farther and see if I can get a better picture. And I think this is a little picture. The focus is gonna not be great at first, but it should get it now. And I think this is a lot better. I'm sitting farther back with the uh, camera. So I'm about, I'm more than an arm's length away, about maybe um, four and a half, five feet away from the um, lens. And I think this works well, actually. Um, I hadn't really tried using this 4K with this particular lens before. And we'll see how it works. I am, again, using the Canon M50 with the 50 millimeter nifty 50 the classic lens with the Viltrox speed booster on it I have the Rode video micro um, microphone on the camera and I'm really testing the quality of the 4k video that's the reason for doing this video on senior tech tips. I just want to see how this works out. Um, I don't really see a need to use 4K. I think 1080p is sufficient, but 4K is very popular and I want to see how the um, 4K focus is on this camera using this kind of, of setting where I'm not moving around a lot. It should be okay. The contrast contrast based autofocus should be okay and uh, I'm going to see what it's like. I'm finding this camera to be very very good. I do have a, a, a hood on to block it from flaring. I'm using two box lights to light me up and I have the um, aperture set right around 2.0 I don't I can't remember exactly what it was but it's right around 2.0 that's generally what I'd like to set to um, use with this lens I can actually bring it down to 1.4 it's a 1.8 focal length lens but with the speed booster I can get it down to 1.4 um, but I'm using 2.0 right now and um, we shall see I'm shooting it in manual mode and um, with the contrast based or autofocus and I guess that's it for right now we'll see how it comes out and then we'll let you make comments okay I have changed lenses on the Canon M50 I have taken off the 50 millimeter nifty 50 lens and I've moved to the native 11 to 22 lens. I have it slightly zoomed in. I'm still shooting in 4K. And this lens with its wider angle seems to be a lot better 
for shooting 4K than the 50 millimeter at this short distance. I'm much closer to the lens. If you see me reach my arm out, I'm just shy of a foot from the lens right here. You can see I can do this. So that tells you that the um, lens is much better suited to doing close 4K um, shooting than was the Nifty 50. The Nifty 50 just was not the best lens for this situation. And I'm real happy with the lens, as with this lens, the 11 to 22 native lens. This is the vlogging lens. This is a lens that most people recommend with the M50 for vlogging. It has automatic image stabilization, though I'm on a tripod right now. Now I noticed the focus is a little bit, the contrast focus is a little slow with this lens because the box is not quite on my face, so I'm not sure how sharp it is. But this lens is generally pretty sharp. And so the, the um, and now it's on my face exactly where it should be. So we're going to um, try this out and compare this footage, footage with the footage from the last shoot and see if there is a major difference. I clearly, you know, for looking for the viewfinder on the M50, like what I'm seeing a lot better. And I know that from what I'm seeing now, I'm not going to use the Nifty 50 again to shoot 4K. It just doesn't make sense. Now, of course, I, this is a native lens, so I don't have the speed booster on. But the focal length on, on this lens goes down to 11 using the crop, which comes with this camera, which is 1.6. And then with 4K, it goes up to about 2.55. So the, you have to multiply both of those numbers to get the effective um, focal length on a full frame camera. And so um, I, it's 20 something actually, 20 something, probably close to 30. But to me, this looks a lot better than it did on the um, Nifty 50. In fact, let me, zoom out a little bit so I can show you how much how much farther I can go. I'm going to come in now because I need to reach to touch the, the lens to zoom it. Now it's going to bounce a little bit but I'm going to zoom back now as you can see and I'm going to move back. It'll take a little while for the contrast based focus to get my face in. That's That's one of the issues with this 4K on this camera. The 4K on the camera does not have the autofocus, the eye tracking autofocus that it does in 1080p and that's a major weakness in 4K on this camera and the, some of the other um, cameras that Canon has made with 4K uh, all except the um, R. The R has the autofocus working but um, the others, the EF and, um, not the EF, but the RF and um, this one have um, contrast base. But let's see how it comes out and you be the judge. This camera with the kit 15 to 45 lens runs now about, what, 549, 599, 600, around that range, depending on where you're looking. And, um, I'm using the 11 to 22 vlogging lens on it. I do have a hood on it, a flaring hood on it. I don't have an NDF filter. I actually had an NDF filter on the 50 millimeter, but it was down to minimum. I took it off the 11 to 22, so it makes the comparison a little less fair. This lens should be sharper either way, but we'll see in a minute. I hope you've enjoyed this comparison on the Armwood senior tech tip channel i'm going to be back after i compare these two videos all righty all right we've seen the comparison between the 50 millimeter and the 
11 to 22, the 50 millimeter nifty 50 lens with the speed booster and the 11 to 22 native lens on the Canon M50. I'm back on the 50 millimeter, um, not using an ND filter this time to make the comparison a little more fair. Um, sitting back a little, you know, a little farther like I did on the second segment I did with the M50. And I want you to compare compare which lens you think is better. I prefer the 11 to 22 native M lens, but the, the Nifty 50 is a fine lens. And I think it looks pretty good right now, especially without the um, ND filter. But I still think that the... Um, 11 to 22 is a far better choice but you sum it up i hope you enjoyed this video check the like button if you like this subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this playing with um, cameras shooting videos um, going out and shooting nature and wildlife is a wonderful joyous experience for senior citizens, especially since we tend to have more time on our hands. I do teach part-time and um, I spend the rest of the time with the camera. And I'm, I just started doing this um, last June, so I've been doing this for less than a year. Actually, I started doing YouTube last June. I didn't get a camera. I was using my smartphone to start off with. I didn't get a camera until the end of September. So I'm learning from scratch. I hadn't shot on a, um, a camera with interchangeable lenses since 1969 when I was a teenager and only did it for a little while. So I'm finding a lot of joy in doing this. It's a creative and expressive outlet. And if you, ensure, if you share that same joy that I'm feeling, I, I, know you know, you, I, know, I know you understand why I love it. Let's see how this came out. And um, I'll chat with you in the next video.